All right, guys, welcome back. My name is Mike with Project Dad Life, and today we have a fun video. Does it fit good? Does it rock? Because I freaked out, jumped in front of almost like we're professional. And now we are ready for the surprise. This is my youngest son's rocking chair that I used on the front porch and it's been on my to-do list to fix for a while. And I believe I have all the pieces except for one. Today, I'm gonna rebuild this and we're gonna surprise him. We're gonna get this thing sanded down, get it fully glued back up, <laughs> and hopefully he'll be really surprised. That's coming out pretty nice. We're just gonna skim sand it, knock the um, old finish off and the tarnish, get it ready to reassemble, and then we will put a coat of oil on it when we're done. Hey, if this is something you guys enjoy and like this content, please consider hitting that thumbs up button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate the support and would love to have you around. All right, we're getting super close to the sanding, but to help you guys out, I'm just gonna warp speed the rest of this, so we're gonna knock it out. Woo, that's finally done. We knocked it down. A pretty good bit, I think enough. You know, it's funny, as I was sanding this down, I was remembering uh, Walter, my youngest, when he was about two years old and this thing first broke, it all fell apart. He would still use it because he would assemble it like Legos every time. So he actually knows exactly how this thing goes back together. He would assemble it back together, sit in it, and then, of course, you know, as a couple days passed, it would break again and fall apart. And he'd be like, oh, man. So it's been a little over a year since that day has passed. <laughs> so he should be pretty excited. All right, guys, now I'm going to go through, I'm going to pull all the nails out that they use to hold these in and make sure the holes are cleaned out. And then we'll start gluing it up and assembling it. And I guess I'm just going to use some brad nails and just stab through each of the connections and hopefully that will hold up. Now for the glue up, we're just gonna use some Gorilla Glue, just standard old wood glue into your exterior. And we are gonna start assembling this thing, hopefully in the same order we took it apart. So I believe the best way to start will be with the feet. And do remember the nails were on the inside of the rockers. So this is the right and this is the left if you're facing the chair. So I located the lower legs and I don't think these are angled. These are all straight. Okay, so they just go straight in the bottoms just like that. Oh yeah, there we go. I am gonna be a little excessive with the glue because this will probably be sitting on the front porch most of the time in the weather. We should get a lot more life out of it. Now I'm almost wondering if people even use wood glue for rocking chair assembly or if there's like a different kind of specialty glue this is my first rocking chair glue up, so leave a comment below if you've ever done this before and 
hopefully you will say, yeah, wood glue is fine. But I don't know if, I don't know, maybe people use like a, more of like a adhesive or construction type glue. Yeah, there she goes. The legs seem to go on perfect. There she is. Next up is our back support. These will glue on the back and hold the arms and then everything kind of ties in together from here. So we'll pretty much glue everything and then assemble it all together. And then we'll be almost glued up. So like it'll be it'll be steady, right? Like yeah, once it dries up, it's gonna be all done. And he'll be able to sit in it. But I wanna surprise him with it. Okay. What do you think? You think he's gonna be surprised? Mm-hmm. It's gluing up really nice. Um the only piece, like I said, I'm missing is this one lower back support. I got this piece of pine, just yellow pine trim, and I think we're gonna to attempt to just make a little piece that fits in there. It'll kind of be cool to see the, the trim on there. Yeah, we'll be able to know for years to come that we added it, right? Yeah. Look at that. It's almost like we're professional. This piece almost fits perfectly already into one side. So I got one side trimmed down with the planer and now I just gotta adjust this side a little bit, take it down so it fits, and then we'll be good. And that piece of trim worked out perfect, and it still has this little groove on the back, so I think it'll kind of look like it was purposely built for that. <laughs> Pretty cool, glad I tackled that. So we're gonna pull this apart a little bit, glue this bottom piece up, and it should fit right in. Only have the arms left to glue on. Totally surprised myself and pumped about how this lower back piece turned out. I'm glad I tackled that, I just love it. It looks so pretty already. Like I said, I'm just a dad who loves DIY projects. If you're the same way, or if that's something you enjoy watching, Go ahead, subscribe to the channel. We love to have you hang out. I love all the comments and the information below, and I just love sharing all the knowledge from all the other people out there doing the same stuff. Thank you guys. Back to the build. We just have to put the um, armrest on right here and then glue the supports in. Hey. <clears throat> All right, guys, totally was not expecting that. My son, my youngest son that I'm surprising with the chair just walked in and was like, hey, dad, what are you fixing? And I think he said, are you fixing a chair? I'm not sure if he saw it or not because I freaked out, jumped in front of him and kind of herded him out of the shop, back to the house or back outside to go play. So my heart dropped for a second because obviously this is a surprise for him. So hopefully he didn't see it and we can still pull this off. So back to the chair, one arm left. Here she is, not gonna lie, pretty excited about how this came out. You know, the only thing, like I said, I custom made was this back lower piece right here. There's a lot of glue on it, <laughs> but this thing has been apart for over a year and it looks a lot better like this than in a pile of parts. So let's give this thing a couple hours. It's probably gonna take more like a day or two for the dry with all the glue on it, but hopefully a couple hours I'll at least be able to clean it up, put some sealer on it and surprise them.
the rocking chair is complete. It's so little and cute. It'll be perfect for my little boy. And now we are ready for the surprise. He is inside playing right now. He has no clue about the chair. So I'm gonna go set it up on the front porch. I'm gonna set you guys up on the camera. I'm not gonna tell him and I'm gonna get him to come outside and let's see if he notices it. All right guys, I think this spot is gonna work perfect. There it is. Let's go see if we can find him. Walter. All right, come outside. Come here, Walter. You want to help me clean the porch? What? Wow. Look at them. Whose chair is that? <laughs> is that neat? And it's walking on it. Do you like it? I do. Hey, let me ask you a question. Did you see it the other day in the shop? Yes, I did. You did? Yeah. No way. Does it fit good? Yeah. Does it rock? Any creaks or crack? Nope. Does it work perfect? Um, yep. All right, dude, high five. Low. In the middle. Give me a hug. Love you, buddy. Enjoy your chair. <laughs> All right, guys, we pulled it off. He likes it.